。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是英文文法与修辞一。大家好，欢迎再次收看《英文文法与修辞》。我们这一周要看的是第十四讲次 （adverb） 副词。首先为同学说明本讲次目标。我们这一周讲次目标是要帮同学理解英文副词的概念。我们还要探讨。英文状态副词、位置以及方向副词、时间副词，还有频率副词，它的功用以及规则。副词它的功用是修饰其他的动词、形容词和其他的副词。副词的种类可以分为：第一个是状态副词 （adverbs of manners）。那像是 quickly 快的 ，slowly 很慢的 ，loudly 很大声的。第二个是位置和方向副词 ，adverbs of place and the direction， 像是 here 这里 ，away 就是离开 ，out 出去 ，straight 是直走那个直直的哈。接下来是时间副词 ，adverbs of time， 像是 now 现在 ，yesterday 昨天 ，tomorrow。明天 ，recently 最近 ，later 等一下，还有是频率副词 ，adverbs of frequency， 比方说 rarely 很少，极少的 ，sometimes 有一些时候 ，often 经常 ，always 总是怎么样。另外还有是强调副词 ，intensifying adverbs， 像是 very 很怎么样 ，quite 相当怎么样。Even 即使 only 只有，那最后是连接副词 conjunctive adverb， 像是 therefore 因此 nevertheless 就即使也怎么样哈，即使我们也怎么样。以下我们就课文来做说明。The function of an adverb is to modify a verb. 功能是 function 哈，这副词的功能是 modify 是修饰，修饰什么呢？动词。还有 an adjective 修饰形容词 or 或者是其他的副词。Let's take a look at the following three sentences. 我们看下面三个句子，三个例句。It rained heavily yesterday. 昨天下雨下得很大。那这 adverb 副词哈 heavily 它是 modify 修饰动词 rain 下雨下怎么样呢 ？Heavily 很大。Terry is extremely intelligent. 这个 Terry 哈，他非常的聪明。他副词是 extremely modify 修饰什么呢？修饰形容词 intelligent， 相当聪明，极聪明。Shirley likes her aunt very much. 雪莉非常喜欢她的 aunt 的话，可以当阿姨，也可以当姑姑。The adverb. Very 这个副词 very 这个字哈 ，modify 是修饰副，另外一个副词 much， 所以 very much 这个修饰副词哈，应该 should be placed at the end of the sentence， should be 就应该是放在句尾，所以记住哈 ，very much 通常是放在句尾，不要放在句子中间。Due to the influence from Chinese syntax， due to 是由于。由于这个 influence 这个影响力哈，就是同学母语中文 syntax 中文语法的影响。Chinese student 我们中文为母语的华文学生，经常会写这个错误的句子，像 Shirley very like her aunt， 不对哈，不能
，因为你就讲说雪莉非常喜欢她的 aunt， 这是中文的语法直接翻译不对，应该是 Shirley likes her aunt very much。好，下面的例子 ，I watch TV almost every day。我几乎每天看，呃，看 TV 就看电视。那这个副词 almost 哈，它修饰的是另外一个副词 every day， almost every day。那 one of the grammar error， 其中一个文法常常那个同学犯的错误哈，就 Chinese student often make make， 就我们讲说犯错误 make error 哈，就我们华文学生常常犯的英文文法错误就是。Place the adverb before the verb, 就是把副词放在动词前面。那说成这个错误的句子是 ：I almost watch TV every day. 我几乎每天看电视。那这个是中文的语法，应该是 I watch TV almost every day. 哈，因为你讲说 I almost watch 是代表我几乎看，事实上我是没有看。哈，所以这个英文的语法。你假把中文直接套过来，意思是完全不对的。One thing we should pay more attention to is the position. 那有一件事情我们要同学特别注意 ，pay attention to 就注意哈，就是 position 位置 for adverb in a sentence， 就是副词在句子里面的位置。We can find that. Due to the influence of Chinese sentence structure, such as 我很喜欢看电影，那我们会发现哈 ，find 就发现哈，由于中文语法的影响哈，像是我很喜欢看电影，那同学就 instead of saying instead 就不怎么说，不说哈，正确的像 I like to watch 呃、uh, ，I like to watch movie very much， 这是正确的哈。就我很喜欢看电影。那 Chinese student often say， 那我们的中文的学生哈，通常会说 I very much， 就我很 like 喜欢 watch movies 看电影。那就是直接把中文语法翻过来，可是事实上是错误的哈。应该把那个 very much 放在字尾句尾。In English grammar， usually there are three position for adverb in a sentence. 但在英文文法里面，通常哈，呃，副词有三个位置 ，three positions。第一个 first， 首先是 initial position，initial 是字尾的，在句首 ，initial 句首哈，就 before the subject， 在这个 subject 是主词，在主词前面。例如我们看 ，fortunately， 这是一个副词，放在句首哈，放在 subject， 放在主词 I 的前面，很幸运的。I passed the exam. 我通过了考试。这是副词放在句首。Secondly, 第二种位置是 mid position， 就是句子中间的一个位置。那这个是 between the subject and the verb， 是在 subject 主词和 verb 动词之间可以放副词。Or immediately after verb B， 或者是。Immediately 就是紧紧的接在这个 verb be be 动词后面。就假如你 be 动词 verb be 是一个 main verb， 是一个主要动词的话，那你这个就直接就接在这个 be 动词后面。我们看 ，I really enjoy talking with him。我非常喜欢和他讲话。It is absolutely a great learning experience。那我们看 ，It is absolutely。那 absolutely 哈，它是这边主要动词 ，it is 那个 is be 动词哈，它是主要动词，所以副词 absolutely 就直接紧紧的跟在这个副词，跟在这个 be 动词后面，好，这呃是一个 absolute 绝对是一个很好的一个 learning experience 学习的经验。那第三 thirdly 第三它的位置是 end position。是句尾的一个位置 ，at the end of class， 在这个子句的尾巴 ，the end 哈。我们看例句 ，She traveled to Japan last summer。她就旅行去日本，然后这个 last summer 是指时间副词，去年夏天。通常哈，这个 adverb of time 就是 time 是时间的副词，它通常是
place at the end of the sentence 通常都在句子的句尾，所以记住时间副词几乎经常就是放在句尾。Adverbs mainly can be divided into the following six categories. 那副词呢，主要可以分成下面的六个 category， 六个范围哈，六类。第一个 ，adverbs of manners, adverbs of manners， 好，这个状态的副词，像是 she speaks loudly， 她说话说的很大声。这个 loudly 是一个状态副词。Adverb of place, 这个副词是 place， 是地点，还有 direction， 方向，好位置和方向的这个副词，像 stay here， 就留在这里，或是 go away， 走开 ，go out， 出去 ，go out， 出去 ，go straight， 就是直直走，这你给人家，呃，人家问路的时候，你就 go straight， 直走。第三个是 adverb of time， 时间副词 ，come back tomorrow。这个 tomorrow 就是时间副词哈，所以记住时间副词通常就在句尾。第四个是 adverb of frequency， frequency 是频率，频率副词，像是 rarely 很少，几乎不，就很少很少，极少。often 经常 ，sometimes 有的时候。我们看例句 ，Miss Strip， Strip 小姐 come here frequently， 经常来这里。第五个是 intensifying adverb, intensifying 强调副词，像是 very 很怎么样 ，quite 相当的，然后 even 即使 only 只有，这是强调副词哈。He's the only person that I can trust. 他是 only 唯一的这个人，什么样的人呢 ？That I can trust. 我可以信赖的唯一的人。然后第六个是 conjunctive adverb. 连接副词，像 therefore， 因此 ，nevertheless， 即使也怎么样哈。I miss the bus， 我没有赶上这个巴士。Therefore， 因此 ，I had to take a taxi， 我必须要搭计程车。Take a taxi。好，我们接着要请同学听外籍老师再读一次课文，注意老师的发音，而且请同学跟老师一起念出来。The function of an adverb is to modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Let's take a look at the following three sentences. It rained heavily yesterday. The adverb heavily modifies the verb rained. Terry is extremely intelligent. The adverb extremely modifies the adjective intelligent. Shirley likes her aunt very much. The adverb "very" modifies the adverb "much." Very much should be placed at the end of a sentence. Due to the influence from Chinese syntax, Chinese students often write "Shirley very like her aunt." I watch TV almost every day. The adverb "almost" modifies the adverb "every day." One of the grammar errors Chinese students often make is to place the adverb before the verb and say, "I almost watch TV every day," because in Chinese we say, "Wo ji fu mei tian kan dian si." One thing we should pay more attention to is the position of adverbs in a sentence. We can find that, due to the influence of the Chinese sentence structure, such as "wo hun shi wan kan dianing," instead of saying "I like to watch movies very much," Chinese students often say, "I very much like watch movies." In English grammar, usually there are three positions for adverbs in a sentence. First, initial position before the subject. Fortunately, I passed the exam. Secondly, mid position between the subject and the verb, or immediately after the verb be, 
as a main verb. I really enjoy talking with him. It is absolutely a great learning experience. Thirdly, end position at the end of the clause. She traveled to Japan last summer. Adverbs of time are often placed at the end of the sentence. Adverbs mainly can be divided into the following six categories. Adverbs of manner, she speaks loudly. Adverbs of place and direction, stay here, go away, get out, go straight. Adverbs of time, come back tomorrow. Adverbs of frequency, rarely, often, sometimes. Miss Streep comes here frequently. Intensifying adverbs, very, quite, even, only. He is the only person that I can trust. Conjugative adverbs, therefore, nevertheless. I missed the bus, therefore, I had to take a taxi. Modify. I've modified the article so it is fit for all ages. Modify is a I've modified the article. 我已经修改, 修饰了这个article是文章, so it is fit for all ages. 所以哈, it 就是指这篇文章, 就fit, 就适合, all ages, 所有年龄的读者。好,下面. Extremely. It is extremely difficult to get a PhD in a prestigious university. Extremely, 复持, 极其, 非常地. It is extremely difficult, 这是非常的困难, 怎么样呢? To get a PhD. 得到一个博士学位, in a prestigious university, 在一个prestigious, 就是well-known,很有名,有声望的大学, 你要从很有名的,有声望大学里面拿到博士学位, 是非常困难的。好,下一句. Influence. He used his father's influence to get to the top. Influence, 名词, 可数, 不可数, 都可以。当作影响的意思 He used his father's influence 他利用他父亲的影响力 To get to the top 来到达这个top就只是说上面顶尖的位置 Syntax Make sure your sentences are of the correct syntax Syntax 名词文法里面是当语法句法 Make sure your sentences are all of the correct syntax. Make sure 就是要很确定,要确定你这些句子都是正确,文法正确. Structure. The structure of the dam was built to withstand even the strongest earthquakes. Structure 名词结构. The structure of the dam Dam 是指水坝, 水坝的结构 was built, 它建构的是 to withstand even the strongest earthquake. 建构这水坝的结构 是要 withstand 就是能够抵抗 even the strongest earthquake. 即使是最强的地震都要能够抵抗, 能够抗震. 好, 下一个. Initial. The initial batch of cookies was burnt. Initial, 形容词, 开始的, 最初的, The initial batch of cookies was burnt. 这第一批烤出来这个cookies的饼干, was burnt, 是烧焦了。下一位. Category. Cats belong in the feline category. 
这个 category 哈是种类 ，cat belong in the feline 或 feline 这个 category， 猫哈它是属于猫科的。Frequency, the man visits McDonald's with great frequency. Frequency 名词，频率、次数的意思。The man visits McDonald. 这个先生哈，他去麦当劳的次数是 with great frequency， 非常的频繁。Intensity, the noise intensified as time went on. Intensify 是动词，及物动词，加强的意思。The noise intensified as time went on. 这个声音哈，越来越强了。当这个时间哈 went on， 就时间越长，这个噪音越强。好，我们看下一个。Conjunctive. Conjunctive words are used to connect sentences. Conjunctive 形容词，它是连接词的。Conjunctive words 连接词这个这个字哈。Are used to connect sentences. 是用来连接句子的。我们这一周还是要继续说故事、学英文。Hello, Randy. Hello again. So, what story are you going to tell us this week? Uh, the town mouse and the country mouse. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, a town mouse once visited a relative who lived in the country. For lunch, the country mouse served wheat stalks, roots, and acorns, with a dash of cold water for drink. The town mouse ate very sparingly, nibbling a little of this and a little of that, and by her manner. Making it very plain that she ate the simple food only to be polite. After the meal, the friends had a long talk, or rather, the town mouse talked about her life in the city, while the country mouse listened. They then went to bed in a cozy nest and slept in quiet and comfort until morning. In her sleep. The country mouse dreamed she was in the town mouse with all the luxuries and delights of city life that her friend had described for her. So the next day, when the town mouse asked the country mouse to go home with her to the city, she gladly said yes. When they reached the mansion in which the town mouse lived, they found on the table in the dining room. The leavings of a very fine banquet. There were sweet meats and jellies, pastries, delicacies, cheeses. Indeed, the most tempting foods that a mouse can imagine. But just as the country mouse was about to nibble a dainty bit of pastry, she heard a cat meow loudly and scratch at the door. In great fear, the mouse scurried to a hiding place, where they lay quiet, still for a long time, hardly daring to breathe. When at last they ventured back to the feast, the door opened suddenly, and in came the servants to clear the table, followed by the house dog. The country mouse stopped in the town mouse's den. Only long enough to pick up her carpet bag and umbrella. You may have luxuries and dainties that I have not," she said, as she hurried away. "But I prefer my plain food and simple life in the country, with the peace and security that go with it." Okay. So, Randy, why you choose this story? Well, it's just to show that. Sometimes we can have a, a life that we are satisfied with, and enough food. Like the mouse had the nuts and the the wild food that the mouse could collect, and very little to worry about. But the city mouse could collect food off the table, table scraps that were very wonderful, 
but maybe the cat would eat the mouse. <laughs> okay. So, in the sound, Randy has a chance to say, Ha, the Shangsha, the Lao Shu, Takanan, Ha, Shangho, and Jen Dan, and Ho, Dongshi, and Ping Dan. Now, Kasina, Hun, An Yi, and Ho, and Shu Fu, Kasi, Chen Li, the Lao Shu, can then see the Hao, Ha, you and Shirts, Kasina, your Semin, the Wei Xian. 那同学自己想想看哪一种生活你要。好，现在我来为同学大致讲解这个故事的内容。A town mouse once visited a relative who lived in the country. 有一个城里的老鼠啊，他有一次他去拜访他乡下的亲戚。For lunch, the country mouse served wheat, stalk, root, and acorn. 那这个 吃午餐的时候，乡下老鼠哈就给他们吃的是这个麦秆、麦秆子，然后树根还有acorn是橡树子 with a dash of cold water for drink，然后有一点点哈冷水，然后当做饮料。The town mouse ate very sparingly. 这个城市老鼠它哈吃的很少，nibbling a little of this and a little of that. 它只吃这么一点，这边咬一点，那边咬一口哈。And by the manner making it very plain that she ate the simple food only to be polite. 那她这样这边吃一点，那边吃一点哈，她吃的食物只是说表示礼貌，其实她吃不下。After the meal, the friend had a long talk. 那吃完饭以后，这这朋友哈，这一对朋友，他们好好的聊了天。Rather, the town mouse talk about her life in the city, while the country mouse listen. 那其实说聊天只是说哈，城里老鼠在那边谈他城市的生活多舒服，乡下老鼠就听着。They then went to bed. 然后他们就去上床睡觉。In a cozy nest, 很舒服的一个窝 ，slept in quiet and comfort until morning. 那睡得很舒服又很安静哈，一直一觉睡到天亮。In her sleep, the country mouse dreamed that he was, she was a town mouse. 那在梦中哈，乡下老鼠梦到她变成这城市老鼠。With all the luxurious and delights of city life, 那有各种奢侈啊，还有好吃的那个城市老鼠可以享用的。啊 ，So the next day, 第二天 ，when the town mouse asked the country mouse to go. Home with her to the city. 那第二天，当这个城市老鼠邀请乡下老鼠哈，和他一起回家 ，she gladly say yes. 这乡下老鼠当然很高兴，就说 yes， 答应了。When they reach the mansion, 他们到了那个 mansion 大厦 ，in which the town mouse live， 这城市老鼠住的地方 ，they found the table in the dining room. The leavings of a very fine banquet. 他发现这个餐厅里面哈，桌上其实哈有这个很丰盛的那个飨宴里面剩下食物。There were sweet meat, 甜肉啊，然后 jelly, 果冻 pastries, 糕饼 delicious cheese, 好吃的起司。Indeed, the most tempting food that a mouse house can a mouse can imagine, 就是。最好吃的、诱人的食物，那老鼠能想象全都有了。But just as the country mouse was about to nibble a dainty bit, 可是当这个老鼠刚要吃一点的时候 ，she heard a cat meow loudly. 就猫很听到一声猫大大叫，然后 scratch the door 在抓这个门，然后 in great fear 非常害怕这个老鼠 scurry to a hiding place 就赶快逃跑了。Where they lay. Quiet till for a long time, 然后安安静静躲了好久 hardly daring into the breeze, 就几乎不敢呼吸了 When at last they ventured back to the beast, 最后哈，他们回去，然后呢，又门突然就这个佣人来清扫桌子，然后又有狗来，所以他们吓死了。然后这个最后呢，这个乡下老鼠。他拿起他的伞要回家了，就说啊，这里哈虽然有各种奢侈的东西，可是呢，没有我乡下的生活平淡 
舒服。好，谢谢 Randy 老师带给我们这有趣的故事，谢谢各位同学的收看，我们下次再会。